Hi, I'm Tom, and I've been around boats my entire life, and I specialise in ribs. So the single or the twin installation on your rib is one of those questions, it's not just a simple choose this answer. Um, some people will go for a twin installation because they're going further offshore, they're going out in harsh conditions, and they want that reliability and backup of a second engine um, should one of them fail. The, the other big advantage is the performance, the acceleration you get when you put more horsepower on the back of the boat. So the main disadvantages to consider if you're looking at a twin installation is cost. You're paying for two engines, and that's two engines that you've got to service and maintain um, for the life of your boating. The other thing is, you're running two engines, you're going to use more fuel. Typical rule of thumb is probably one and a half times the amount of fuel for a twin installation over a single of equivalent horsepower. But one of the things, if you're going down the route of wanting to put twin engines on the boat, is you're going for reliability, you want to make sure that those two systems can run entirely independently of each other. So you need separate power supplies and you need separate supplies of fuel because they're the things that ultimately are more likely to make your engine fail than the engine itself. So what some people do if they want the extra backup of another engine but not go down the route of having two big engines is to fit a smaller auxiliary, something maybe four, six, eight horsepower that will still just keep the boat pushing along, head to wind or even get, get you home but a much slower speed. Smaller engine, easier to maintain and taking up less space. So if you've got any more questions on um, what installation is right for your boat, you want to discuss engines with us, give myself or the team a call 